Welcome back to another video and today the topic is about feedback control systems um, and photo resistors. So a feedback control system is a system that is going to actually be able to gather its own data from the environment and then use that data to control what it does. So for example, this is a photoresistor right here and photoresistors can measure light in the environment. So what's going to happen is it's going to measure that light and then it is going to use how much how bright the environment is to then change the brightness of this LED right here. So that way, that's how it's a feedback control. So it's able to get its own feedback from the environment and then control the LED. So I drew this diagram to demonstrate what's going to happen. So what's happening right now is the LED, or I'm sorry, the photoresistor is, is the eye. So it's able to see the environment. It is plugged into full power and it is the full power is going to go into the photoresistor then the photoresistor depending on how bright the environment is is going to either allow more power to go through it or if it's the environment's dimmer is going to block power so it was at full power here then depending on the brightness that amount of power is going to go into the gpio pin so right here the power is going to come out of this pin it's going to go into the resistor and then it's going to go into the gpio pin and back into the computer so now it's able to then process how much power it's getting back which is going to determine how bright the environment is and then the excess is going to go into ground because energy always has to travel in a forward motion so it has to go back into ground um, so that's what this is. So this is the resistor so that this thing doesn't burn up and get super hot. And this just takes it back in the ground. This is a ground pin. So after the computer, um, then receives how much power it's getting and knows how bright the environment is, is going to then send that information and change the brightness on the LED. And then the electricity is going to travel once again in that forward motion and go into ground. So right here, it's going to come into the computer. Then it is going to spit out into the LED, change the brightness, and then it is going to go back into ground. So here's the code for that setup. So just importing some stuff. Um, and this PWM, what that is, is it's called a pulse width modulization. And that sounds really complicated, but it's actually not that crazy. So what's happening is this thing, so this thing doesn't change how much power it's sending out. And normally to change the brightness, that would be dependent on how much power is going into it. So instead of this thing changing how much power is going out, it's just going to be on or off. So we're going to change how often it turns on or off. So instead of just being constantly on, it's going to keep flickering on and on and off at a super fast rate. And that rate is going to be determined by the brightness. So if it was at like full rate, just going on and on and off super duper duper fast, then it would appear like it's just on the whole time. Or if it was on and on and off, like really slower, then um, that might make it like dimmer. So that's literally just depending on the rate. So that's how that works. And it's going to import the code for that. And then Mogo, I just named it that because it had to do with light and I can't think of any variables to do with light, but Green Lantern is like a DC here that has light and Mogo is like a character from Green Lantern. So, let's see. So this is the max value it could get from the environment. 
um, for the max amount of brightness, then this is just saying where the LED is and where the thing determining brightness is, and then the variable that's going to be holding the brightness. So then right here is the pin which with the LED, and see it's going to be the brightness of the LED now is determined by the frequency, and that frequency is the brightness. So then while true just means it's going to keep happening until we turn it off, the brightness is going to keep being read by the environment. It's going to print the brightness right here so that we can just see what it is. And it's going to spit that brightness out and change the variable on the LED. And then it's going to take a second and pause. Um, and I can change this so it pauses more often, but I just think if it went slower, it'd be easier to look at. So we'll turn it on right now and it's kind of dim in my environment so the, sh the LED should be dim um, but if I actually I can adjust the brightness on my lamp right here and it can change the environment so we'll just run it and see what happens. Alright before we continue I made a quick change so as you can see there's no there's no difference on the breadboard it's just to my code and it was only one single line of code so how the code was originally was that if we just kind of ignore this line right here was that the brighter the environment was the brighter the light was going to be um and that was because it was going to read the environment as being bright aka a high number and then it was going to set it to a high number so what i changed was i took the max value I subtracted it by a thousand just to be safe and then I made the brightness of the room be subtracted from it so now if the room is really bright then this is going to be a larger number and it's going to subtract from here so then if this is a large number then that's going to make this a smaller number meaning that the light on the LED is going to be dimmer so if the room's bright, then the LED's, LED's dim. But if the room's if the room's dark, so this is small, then this is going to be bigger. Meaning that if the room is dark, then the LED is going to be brighter. So I completely flipped how this works, and all I did was add this single line of code right here. And that is mainly so that when I'm demonstrating this, it's a little bit easier to tell. Um, so I'm just I'm literally just going to hold it up to my light right here and just turn my light on and off and then you'll be able to see that this is going to this is going to change and it's going to be brighter and dimmer. All right, let's run the code. Okay, so as you can see the light's off and the LED is on, fully pretty bright. Now I'm going to turn the light on. I don't know if you can see, but the LED got a little bit dimmer. Also, if we're looking right here, we can actually see how this is changing too. So this is kind of far away. So now when I hold it sh right up to the light, you're definitely going to be able to tell. So we'll just, I'll keep it right here. And when I hold it up to the light more, you can see that there's a big decrease. In the numbers I'm gonna to try to keep my phone in the same position as this light and just hold it up did you see how the lights kind of going out okay nice so boom so what that demonstrated was the pulse width modulization and how it was able to adjust the brightness and that is an example of a feedback control system determined by brightness so thank you guys for watching and you guys have an amazing day